Hello, my name is John Wadsworth. I'm an astrologer and I'm also a facilitator on the alchemical journey, the 12 month process around the zodiac that happens every month in Glastonbury. And this month we're entering the sign of Libra, which is the dove in the Glastonbury zodiac. And as part of our weekend, we'll be walking the figure of the dove in the landscape around the village of Barton St. David. And where I'm standing here, I'm actually on the River Brew also known as Dunstan's Dyke, looking back across part of the Libra figure toward the village of Barton St. David. Hi, um, my name is Anthony Tholey and I'm uh, one of the facilitators on the Alchemical Journey and here we are again in uh, another lovely village in, in Somerset. This is Barton St. David's which is on the beak of the dove figure, which is the Libra figure, and that's the figure that we're going to be walking this month on our alchemical journey workshop. We do this each weekend because we find that in the different parts of Somerset that we've walked in, there are different extraordinary energies which uh, communicate themselves. Each one is an, an energy relevant to the sign of the zodiac, and this area here around Barton St. David's carries very strong Libra energies and that's one of the things that we'll be looking into when we make this walk. Yeah. Just behind me you can see um, the church tower of Barton St. David Church which is dedicated to St. David and um, there's been a long association with um, St. David and this whole area. He's supposed to have visited Glastonbury as a, a saint many, many, many centuries ago and there's a possible link with him in this village. The interesting thing about St. David is that as a great preacher he was just a little man and he was once standing on a hillside in Wales and people just couldn't hear him and couldn't see him and then um, people said, um, you know, can't you stand higher and higher and something happened, a kind of miracle because the ground he was standing on began to raise up and he became higher and higher in front of everybody and um, above his head flying all the time and by his shoulder was a dove and although the dove in Christianity is associated with many saints St. David is actually the patron saint of doves and the whole Libra figure that we're going to be walking on is in the shape of a dove and I think that is just extraordinary. And here's a lovely stained glass from an Oxford college and it shows St. David with the, the dove quite clearly on his shoulder. And here you can see the the actual <clears throat> plan of the the dove in this area. Here we are, we're standing here at the moment um, next to Barton St. David's Church and there are many place names on this map which relate to birds. Um, there's Gosling Street here, and Peacock Hill here and other people have named their houses and businesses after birds and this is not something they're probably aware they're doing, it's just somehow the bird-like energy of the, of the whole area somehow communicates itself to people and um, again that's one of the, the miracles of zodiacs. And right up here on the, the kind of the end of the feathers of the dove as it's kind of diving through the air this place is called Boltonsboro Flights, which is um, a lovely mixture. The flights is actually a kind of waterfall, but the, the word works just as well for feathers. And that's the kind of synchronicities that you, you get on a, a, on a zodiac, all over zodiacs. So here we are at Tootle Bridge, aptly named because um, you can stretch Tootle to sound a bit like turtle, because we're on the side of the, the dove, and this is the River Brew here. And just over on, on the farm on the side there's a dove cot and just as I'm looking now the doves are just taking off. You can just see the, the dove uh, flying away just as I'm speaking. And um, so this is a very, very Libran dove-like place and this is one of the places we'll be having a really good look at when we do our walk um, in a few weeks' time. Yeah. So yeah, Li Libra's one of my favourite walks of the year I think. It's, mm -hmm. it's got this lovely feel about it, hasn't it? You know, it's, it's yeah. got, and, it, and, it, and it takes us almost right into the centre of the zodiac as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's an interesting figure because it's it's in the centre of the zodiac rather than being on the edge and that's one of its mysteries which we try and understand the next when we, we do our weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This way. What I love on the alchemical journey is the way that you know we, we, we embody each zodiac sign as we go around the year but then on, it's as if on the on the walk, which is one of the last things we do during the weekend, we can sort of almost give all the, all the things that we process during the weekend. We can the land takes it. We give it we give it away to the to the landscape somehow. And it's, it's it's a magical thing. It is. Yeah, and I mean the interesting thing is that you know on the walk, people often have some kind of you know intuition or some idea at the beginning, 
they feel there's some new insight coming and then as the walk goes along, even though, you know, people will be gossiping and talking, there's times when people seem to just want to walk in silence or just walk quietly, perhaps for half a mile or so. And then at the end of the walk, very often, you know, we find that intuition has kind of sharpened up and rather like a sort of film developing in a developing tank as it comes and, oh my golly, you've suddenly got this idea. And that's what the landscape does. It's, it's very fascinating. It's very subtle how it works. Yeah, like it is it. subtle, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And these insights come. We don't lay them on people at all. In the world. So that, that ability to experience yourself through each zodiac sign around the year. Yeah. That that, that realization that we carry all these twelve perspectives within us, even if we only maybe realize normally two or three of them, but we can actually access all of them and be able to appreciate them. I think it just gives us an incredible resource. But we can access all of them, and some of them are literally unknown, hidden treasures in our own personality, and we discover them. And people go off and do creative things out of these workshops and things they've never done before. We don't ask them to do it. They just say, I have to do this. I've got this new insight into my life. I'm off. I'm going to do this. And that's what's really so exciting for us, running them, seeing people change in this kind of way. So on the Saturday of our weekend, We'll spend uh, most of that day working with the energy of the sign using myth and story and image and through guided imagery and movement and music and a little bit of play. We will penetrate some of the mysteries of this beautiful sign of Libra. And then on Sunday afternoon, having explored the way that Libra and, and its ruling planet Venus operate in our own birth chart, we'll actually then come out into the landscape and spend the afternoon on Sunday walking the Libra figure in the zodiac, the figure of the dove. So please join us if you can for what will be a magical weekend, a weekend where we explore partnership, where we explore our relationship to beauty and balance. It happens on Saturday the 9th and Sunday the 10th of October 2010 in Glastonbury and also here on the Sunday in the village of Barton Sunday. Hope you can join us.